Hey y'all, it's me, it's T, and I'm back with another video, and today, it's gonna be a little vloggy vlog, a little bit of vlog, a little bit of this, uh, 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 uh. but yeah, I'm about to go meet up with my friends and get some content for um workout content for like right aware and stuff like that um but i also wanted to like come on here first and just talk to you guys a little bit about um being in like transitional seasons and like accepting um opportunities and knowing when you know you have to kind of separate yourselves from those opportunities to like move on to whatever your next stage is and like really appreciate them for what they were and what they did for you in that time and what you can take from them you know in the future so if you have been following me on instagram you know that in the summer i got my um certified personal trainer certification i'm a cpt <laughs> i like started out just doing like one-on-one -on -one clients um i was teaching clients like all the time i do a one-on-one -on -one training um with clients and then i ended up getting an opportunity to learn how to coach group classes at a local gym okay so i did that for about six months and this past weekend was like my farewell class um because it was in springfield it was a great opportunity it was an awesome place like the community there amazing the owners are like two young like brother and sister is like super inspiring they're like 22 and 23 i'm 28 if you don't know so i was like the grandma of um the gym <laughs> but it was so fun um to work there i'll like insert some of the footage from my last day it was amazing they got me a cake and like they said goodbye you know but the gym was in springfield and as of right now i live in alexandria so it was convenient for me but next month i will be moving as i've stated like in previous recent videos me and kyle bought a house in maryland so i'll be living far so it just didn't really make sense for me to commute so far to do my coaching classes um but like I said, let me go ahead and insert some of that footage because it was really cute and I really want to give Hodges Fitness and that community a little bit of praise because it was a great experience, a great learning experience for me to just be immersed into that gym um, atmosphere, learn how to coach hit classes and stuff like that because I had always done one-on-one -on -one coaching and it was just, it was a great opportunity, you know, so I'll insert that now. Okay, Coach Tay. Coach Tay. <laughs> See how you feeling? Um, I already cried about she three times. <laughs> you guys missed it. Um, come on, let's look at my cake. Let's look at the cake. <laughs> Don't trip on the dumbbell. Okay, Coach. They got me this delicious cake. I haven't ate it yet, but I'm sure it's delicious. <laughs> and I got some flowers as well. Um, Cute. I'm really going to miss everybody. I'm getting a little sad. Um, this is kind of crazy, like, when I started working here, I did not know how to coach classes, now I do. Yeah. No, that's awesome. And I'm just gonna miss everybody. And, um, two coach tees. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna miss Tyron. That's, that? our, that's our girl. Period. You're our first coach. Yeah. And now look at y'all, y'all, they about to have like three new coaches now. Yeah. It's all right, shout out to young, young small businesses, flourishing, <laughs> here he is. Inspirational, one day maybe I'll have my own dream in life. Yeah, period. Here you have your own business one day, girl. One day. We're gonna speak, speak faith into that, exactly. period. Hello. Hey guys. <laughs> hey vlog. Vloggy vlog. I'm not a YouTube channel yet, but I will soon. Okay. I thought y'all, well, it's a Hodges Fitness YouTube. Go I'm ahead. YouTube. Subscribe. Yeah, she's there. She's, she subscribe exists. Right here. Yeah. Here. Oh, right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. There, there we go. <laughs> oh, I don't want to cry no more today. I don't want to cry. <laughs> Thank you. 
okay so you know and that just brings me to like we have to really appreciate those seasons that we're in i really appreciate that season that i was in now me moving opens up the opportunity for me to like try to grow my own fitness business i'm not saying like i'm just gonna buy a gym right now which because it's unrealistic as far as like me moving our money is all into this house and like furnishing the house and everything so I'm not saying I'm finna get a gym, but down the long run, I would love to do that. You know what I mean? It's when you see people do things, it shows that it's possible. You know, nothing is impossible. And with faith and work, it can all happen. You know what I mean? So that's another thing like you'll see in the next coming months that I'll start like putting out more stuff for my fitness um, endeavor as if you it would say, you know, so I'm gonna be, you know, working on uh, training programs. I've started working on like uh, clothing, you know? So I've made some like cool athleisure stuff. So I'm gonna like give you guys all that at once or like little sprinkles here and there, but I'm not gonna do anything prematurely just because I'm like, oh, I did something. So let me just put it all out there. I'm not doing that. Um, so <laughs> yeah, but I just wanted to say all that because I really am grateful for that experience and I'm just so excited and optimistic for what is to come. But like when you're in a transitional like period, just make sure you're giving yourself grace throughout, you know, don't feel like so much pressure. Like I have to do this, 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 do, you know, what you want to do to move forward. But also, like I said, give yourself the grace of, Hey, things may not work out perfectly the first time. Just keep trying if it's something that you truly want to do. But all right, I'm about to um go pull up on Davia and Abe and we're going to take some pictures and I will, you know, bring you guys along. Okay. Love you. Uh, we are trying to, <laughs> trying to make a, what's this? A, I was going to say TikTok, a reel of us dancing. Terrible. Y'all want to see? <laughs> <laughs> yes, socks. Okay. All right, we got. Is it on the timer already? Wait, wait, wait. Let's run through real quick. Okay. Okay, so legs open. Open. You gotta come closer. Mm -hmm. This way. This huh. way. Boom. Boom. vlogger we went out to eat after we recorded our tiktok and took some pictures we honestly didn't take that many pictures she only wanted to do one outfit i'm lazy <laughs> no but honestly after we did learn that tiktok dance i didn't care about changing <clears throat> outfits for real for real. anyway oh she's shiny we went and had oysters oysters if you live in the area in virginia what's the place Copperwood Tavern. Copperwood Tavern. Copperwood Tavern. They got dollar oysters. We got two dozen oysters and some fried green tomatoes, and it was so good. Mm -hmm. Um, I literally forgot I was vlogging. I would have showed you guys, but just so you know, imagine delicious raw oysters <laughs> in your mouth. Mm hmm And yeah. Um, uh, it's been yeah, a it's right. been a successful day though. We're trying to see if we want to watch a movie. Or anything right now but we're chilling it's monday i do have work tomorrow but who needs work you know except us <laughs> we need that so money. how would it be yes um oh you know what now that i have you here okay let's have a conversation hmm. we kind of talked about this earlier what do you think about having to pick a niche on social media do you think it's possible for people to grow on social media without picking a niche? What is your feels? I think it's overrated. And I feel like you can grow. But it's harder. Without having a niche. Yeah, Instagram's algorithm makes it harder. But I think people respond to it well because you look like a normal person, not a robot. So... I say keep doing it until it catches flame. It just might take time because 
nobody actually just does one thing and yeah. like you should be able to show other parts of your life and people still enjoy that so yeah i agree i feel like i like watching people that do more than one thing because yeah. then it just seems like yeah like you said a normal person but like even some of the people that i follow that only do fitness like i don't i get tired of watching their stuff because it's like yeah. i already know what to expect every single day but when they post a picture of them in normal clothes you're, you're like, like oh, oh my god nice. that's what yeah. they look like mm -hmm. in a dress yes yeah, slay like i feel like you know, it's nice to see that. Like, oh, you actually do more than just wear woke up clothes and work out. Like, right, right. I like that, but, you know. I just feel like I have been posting on social media for a long time. And I have not grown. <laughs> yeah. At all. And it is just like... But I also feel like I have not been consistent enough. So... I don't know. I feel like people are always saying like, if you niche down and you post this and you're consistent with posting all your fitness stuff or this or that, and then you'll grow. But I'm just like, bruh. Right. We wanna we wanna just be normal people. We just wanna live our lives. I just wanna live. For real. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I say all this, y'all, to say, I'm finna post what I want on this YouTube. It's going to be fitness. It's going to be perfumes. It's going to be day-to-day -day life. It's going to be regular fashion. It's going to be cooking. It's going to be cleaning. It's going to be everything. Yeah, especially now that I'm about to try to post two videos a week. Baby, I'm going yeah. to have to show y'all. Y'all going to see what y'all going to see. <laughs> right. It's going to be a how many, of the draw. How many times can you really make fitness posts and stuff? Like, I've been thinking about that all the time. Like, I will run out of stuff to talk about. Yeah, like people would see the same old workouts. How many like, times like right. I tell you, calorie deficit, lift some weights. <laughs> <laughs> do a little cardio, you know, tighten up a little bit, something. Just, I don't know. People we'll just, it's just, it's just the way social media is set up right now. So I think having, you know, a different type of outlet or a different social media source where you can just be you is just going to be refreshing, so... Wait till we're friends blow up. <laughs> y'all gonna wait. feel it. Can't wait. Y'all gonna get with, with friends and we are gonna be able to just be ourselves. Yeah, post what you want. No pressure. No, no pressure. No algorithms. No. no fake shit. No numbers. <clears throat> yeah. Now, I have a question for you. Hmm. You got something sweet? <laughs> like dessert? Yeah. I got blueberries. <laughs> That's it for this video. Y'all have a good one. Thank you. Please like, hey, you comment, subscribe. And you with that flat stomach or what? Fruit for dessert, y'all. Or what? I choose or what? I want some sweet. All right, all right, all right. I just thought of something. She's trying to kill me, y'all. <laughs> it's like, no, but she did get, give me some treats. They got raspberry dream. Dark chocolate, pistachios, almonds, raspberries. Guess who just found out she was allergic to almonds? <laughs> then this one we got goes Hawaiian, dark chocolate, coconut, sea salt, macadamia nuts. Guess who's allergic to coconut? <laughs> I tried. No, for real though, y'all. Oh! Show them. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't want to see what that was. Mm -hmm. That was. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Hold on, wait. Wait! <laughs> No, but here's, look at my back. I went and got an allergy test. And they told me I was allergic to almonds and coconut. But I love almonds and coconut. I'm still going to eat it. Bye. Mm. It's good. Right? Kind of hello, man, you know. She bushing. Mmm. Kicks the sweet craving without mm -hmm. doing too much, you know. Mm, it says guilt free. Yeah, and it was buy one, get one free. And it was like five dollars. Mm. I was like, say less. And it's three of these for one serving. That's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Okay. It's not a lot Healthy. of sugar or nothing. Yeah. Healthy eats. Healthy eats, y'all. Mm-hmm. That's how we do around here. Now. As I open this bag of fake Cheetos. Are those supposed to be healthy Cheetos? I guess. They're from Fresh Market. They seem healthy to me, but they taste sweet. It's the whole halo for me. You wanna try? No, I have chocolate mouth. <laughs> Joe! 
I have a job for you guys. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. New videos two times a week. We out here, baby. Woohoo! Um, also, you can comment down below what your favorite uh, healthy snack is. Look, she, she, she crushing. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> no, for real, y'all. What's, what's, what's your favorite healthy snack? I like a healthy snack. But I also like non-healthy snacks too, so I'm not, I'm not opposed. <laughs> but we gotta do better, cause I gotta get my abs back. Operation abs, as we eat chocolate. Mm -hmm. Be blessed. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>